What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this light painting tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to write with light. The tools that I'm gonna be using are the blue translucent light writer from Light Painting Brushes, and then also the orange color filter and hood. I'm simply gonna use the orange color filter and hood just to add a little light into the scene to illuminate this log that the word that I will be writing out will be sitting on. The main tool that I'll be using is the blue translucent light writer. This is what I'm gonna use to actually write out the word with light. Trickiest part about light writing is that you need to write backwards. So instead of going from right to left, you're gonna go left to right. So for instance, the word that I'm gonna be writing out is magic. So the word is gonna be like this. It's gonna go M A G I C. Between each letter, I'm gonna turn the light on and off so that there isn't a streak going from each letter. I'm gonna actually, you know, physically turn the light on and off. The light that I'm using for this is just the Coast G26 flashlight attached always with all the light painting brushes to the universal connector. Sometimes writing and light can be very difficult uh, to get the letters lined up perfectly, to get them right in a line, to get them evenly spaced and things like that. The trick to that for me is using my body as a guide. If I'm gonna write the word magic right across here and I wanna get it lined up straight, what I'm gonna do is bring the lower part of the letter down to my chest and then the upper part of the letter is gonna be at my head height. If you wanna make your life a lot easier, don't write in space like this. I mean, sometimes you have to, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. Use something like a table or the ground or some kind of flat surface. Today, I'm gonna to use this log. At the same time that I'm using the log for the bottom of the letters, I'm gonna use my body still as a reference for where the top of the letter should be so that I can kind of get the letters pretty equally sized across the log. So for instance, what I'm gonna do is again, starting with the light off, put it down on the log where I wanna start, and I'm gonna write, turn it on, come up to where my head is, even though I'm bent over. So I'm kind of bent over to start, but I'm gonna stay bent over so I know to bring the top of the letter up to my head height. So I'm gonna go like this. It's gonna go M, A, starting for the G up top, G, I, C. So as you can see, each time I used the bottom of the log for the bottom of the letter and then tried to keep it about right here at eye level for the top of the letter so that that way those letters will all be about the same size and hopefully equally spaced apart. The settings that we're going to be using for this are ISO 100, f5.6, shooting in bulb mode. Now if your camera doesn't do bulb mode, you can do this on any camera. You can even do this on a cell phone with a long exposure app or something like that. Um, but you need to be able to do a long exposure. This, we're out here where it's plenty dark. We don't have any problems with ambient light overexposing the scene. There's very little moonlight out here. Once you turn this light off, it's pretty much pitch black out here. So I can leave this exposure going. That's why I'm gonna shoot in bulb mode. I can leave this exposure going as long as I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off now and actually run through an exposure real quick. After doing the light writing with the light writer here with the translucent light writer, I'm gonna actually take this off and just shine the shine the bare light at the camera to get some lens flares in there. Um, it's just gonna add a little bit of extra to this image. Again, this is just a very basic version of light writing. There are a million different things you can do. You can light write with all kinds of different tools if you wanna use the light painting brushes. You can do this with the plexiglass, with the bottles, with the fiber optic. Anything that illuminates, you can write with. You can literally use your own cell phone to write with light. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these lights and run through an exposure. So here we go, go ahead. Starting with the M, again, using the log as the bottom of my letter, M, A, G. I'm gonna give a little lens flare, just hold that there to get some flare on that eye, the top of the eye, and then a C. Now just taking off the translucent light writer, shining the light directly at the camera, just to get some lens flares. If you shine directly at your lens, that's how you get the best lens flares. And just do a couple. 
couple more and add in a little mm -hmm. extra here. Again. All right, now I'm just coming in with the color filter and just gonna add a little light into the scene. Just gonna illuminate the log here. I like this orange and yellow. I think these two colors go really well together. Anytime there's wood or trees or anything like that, the orange really, really works well with them. And the other thing I'm doing is you never want a light from directly behind the camera. Um, I always like to come in at an angle. It gives much better shadows. If you light directly from behind your camera, your images will look flat. If you go from the side at an angle, you'll get a really nice, uh, you'll get nice shadows and things like that. All right, so that's it. Stop the exposure. And we will see what we got. That is it right there. guys so that's it that is how you write with light it's a very simple technique the most difficult part again is going from left to right and trying to get it in the camera you can go right to left just flip it in some post-production Photoshop something like that super easy to flip around obviously but um, if you want a little bit more of a challenge get it right in camera go left to right this, this is just the very very basics of this technique there are a million ways to expand it a million ways to make it your own. So you can do this with any camera that's capable of a long exposure photograph. So again, guys, I am Jason Page. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy the videos that I'm making, if you find any value in them, please do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm trying really hard to build the YouTube channel up and spread the word of light painting. Um, it's brought a ton of joy to my life and I'm trying to share my joy with other people and I just want to get as many people in the world light painting as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support. And again, I hope you got something out of this video. Until the next time, get out there and get creative.